A small group of Zimbabwe pilots that keep raising the bar, despite facing pressure even from family not to become pilots. They weren't too keen, so they sent me away for a gap year and I came back and I was still adamant I wanted to be a pilot. And then I did an introductory flight in Zimbabwe, then I trained in South Africa at 43A school. On Saturday, local history was made. When I started flying, I actually started in the military. So at that time, the military was opening up to women to also come in and start uh, taking up military training. So, you know, when something is new, it, it's met with a lot of resistance by some others. But um, you have to work twice as hard sometimes to prove yourself. Saturday's flight, a fitting milestone to mark her 20 years as a pilot. Oh wow, that was exhilarating. Uh, you know, something that you'd never think would eventually happen because it's been a long road for us to be captains. So being together in the same flight deck um, was just fun, totally fun. For her co-pilot on this historic flight, the initial ceiling wasn't gender but her tiny stature. Captain Elizabeth Petros has seen many would-be female pilots fall by the wayside. I have a family of my own, I've got children. Um, it's, it's, been, it's been easier, you can juggle the two. So I think probably women have been afraid to get into it thinking, will our career end or do we have to give it up for family? But I can tell you today that it's very possible to juggle the two. Education experts say glass ceilings are raised at schools. Here many girls shun maths and science, believing it's only for boys. Women make up more than half of Zimbabwe's population, yet only 5% study science subjects at university. I was probably the only one in class who would, probably, who would say I want to be a pilot. And um, in flight school, definitely there's very few ladies who are out there. And um, then you come here, I'm the only girl on the fleet that I'm on. And yeah, it's, you get used to it. A Zimbabwe has been trying to encourage young children, especially girls, to consider a career in aviation through familiarization tours. It's proud of the achievement of women pilots. Former Captain Emilia Giovanni was the first female pilot to fly the 767 in Africa. What passengers have been saying about these ladies flying, um, they've been accredited for the best cruising, the best feather landings and um, magnificent takeoffs. Our passengers really love flying with those ladies and we think women are really making a mark in aviation. Five of Air Zimbabwe's 36 pilots are women, but there are five women who believe that the sky is no longer the limit but their home. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.